Hi everybody, so I'm recording this video on the morning of the 1st of September 2024. So the Call of Duty Black Ops 6 multiplayer beta is in full swing. I've put several hours in over the last couple of days. And I wanted to do a kind of a comparison thoughts video with, in my opinion, the amazing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1 from 2019. Because for me, that was the litmus test of Call of Duty for, for quite a while. It's the Call of Duty, I felt, that brought the franchise back to its roots and kind of where it should be. And it was, at the time for me, it was, it was incredible. I know for lots of other people as well, not necessarily for the multiplayer, but obviously we had Warzone came out of Modern Warfare 2019 as well, didn't we? And then we had um, COVID and all sorts of things like that. But Modern Warfare 2019, I, at the time, I really enjoyed that slower paced gameplay. Um, you know, with the, the louder footsteps and things like that. Now, as it turned out, I liked even more Call of Duty Black Ops, Six, uh, Black Ops Cold War, which came out afterwards. So this bodes well for Call of Duty Black Ops 6, because Black Ops 6, it's much, much faster than Modern Warfare 2019. If you enjoyed Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 and haven't really been involved in COD for the last few years, then the movement may well be a bit of a shock, but it, it's not impossible. Um, if you're tactically aware, so you keep an eye on your minimap, you keep an eye where your uh, teammates are, where you spawn, um, and that will tell you because of the game mode what that means. If you're aware of the map, so you learn the maps and you kind of understand what are the best engagement distances for your weapons, then that will still give you an advantage over players that are just running around like headless chickens in most situations. Now, those kiddies with lightning fast muscle response who can just jump around a corner, do a 360 and headshot you, um, with uh, an SMG across the map, that, you know, they're still going to be a problem. They're still there in Call of Duty. And undoubtedly, the speed at which you can move around the map can be a problem. So you've always got to be thinking there might be someone behind me or on the flanks, even if you, you know, you're, you're pretty tactically aware. But I had a lot of fun in the Black Ops 6 beta. Nothing stand, stood out as being really good. But nothing stood out as being really bad, which is good for a beta. So the graphics are okay. Um, they're a bit plain, but often um, Black Ops, uh, Call of Duties are like that. Um, the gunplay and the gameplay were, were, were good and solid. And again, there was nothing bad. What, what often I'm looking for in betas is something that's really bad. So, for example, like in the World War II beta, we had these small maps with, and this incredibly fast time to kill. In Vanguard, we had these beautiful maps, but had the wrong number of players in them. Um, and there hasn't been anything like this. So... As long as the maps that we get in the full release and the single player are good and the zombies is good, then this is probably going to be a good, solid um, Call of Duty for 2024, 2025. And if you enjoyed Modern Warfare 2019, you're going to have to adapt a bit because you're going to have to be moving faster. But that's where you know I'll do the videos or you know you can work it out for yourself where you go into bot matches. And just just sprint around and get used to that faster movement and, and that slightly different um, sounds that are happening. Of course, the big problem with Call of Duty for me, um, since something like Modern Warfare 2019, is the Sword of Damocles, which is crossplay. If you're on Xbox, you're going to be crossplaying with PC. I don't mind crossplaying with PlayStation, but please, Activision, Microsoft, Xbox, give us the option to turn it off, just like PlayStation players have, because. I'm not saying that PC, lots of PC players are cheaters, but you always have that in the back of your mind, the fact that when you do keep losing gunfights, or maybe they are, but also the fact that if someone's running on a big, powerful PC, you know, they can be running with a massive monitor that's running at 4K at 240 frames a second, playing mouse and keyboard, and when you're playing on an Xbox, uh, Xbox One or a PlayStation 4 <laughs> or an Xbox Series S on your small monitor running at 60 frames a second or through a TV... The technical differences between those two things are, are significant as well. But overall, I've got to say from the beta, nothing great, but nothing bad. So we've got this solid foundation that hopefully they're built for. And for me, if they take it a little bit more towards Black Ops Cold War, if you're familiar with that, then it could be a very, very good thing. And as long as they don't keep introducing silly skins as well. I don't like the Fortnite skins. That really annoys me. Should you buy it? If you're a big Call of Duty fan, and Call of Duty is your thing, and you play it throughout the year, then I'd say definitely, you know, this should be on your radar. And of course, if you're on Xbox and you subscribe to Game Pass, that's now included. For me, 
if it hadn't been included in Game Pass, I don't know whether I would have bought it this year unless the beta was amazing. However, I do subscribe to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, so I will get it you know, for free, in inverted commas, for my console and for my PC as well. So that's like 140 quid's worth of value there. So that means I will play it, play it when it releases. I will be making um, uh, videos and tutorials about it because I think a lot of people are going to be coming back to it, and I think we're going to be okay. So fingers crossed play the beta yourself see what you think maybe wait for reviews if you're not quite sure but i think we've probably got a solid call of duty that isn't as slow um and as tactical as modern warfare 29 is a bit faster but will still be enjoyable anyway that's enough from me hopefully you find this view useful if you have it like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and of course i'll see you again soon UAV overhead. <laughs> 